campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Hello and thank you for joining us for the celebration of this Eucharist. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from the members of St. Francis Xavier Seniors Club, Toronto East. This Mass is offered for the good health of their members, especially those confined to their homes, in healthcare facilities and nursing homes, in memory of deceased members, and that all nations of the world live in peace, love, and unity. The St. Francis Xavier Seniors Club Toronto East have been faithful sponsors of this daily Mass on television since we first began broadcasting. You have our thanks and the thanks of all who are gathered for the sacred celebration. And some of the members of the group are here and it's nice to see you and to have you with us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, author of our freedom and of our salvation, listen to the voice of our pleading and grant that those that you have redeemed by shedding of your blood, Son, may have life through you and under your protection, rejoice forever unharmed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul and his companions reached Antioch, they went to the synagogue. Paul was invited to address the people, so he stood up and began to speak. My brothers, you descendants of Abraham's family and others who fear God, to us the message of this salvation has been sent. Because the residents of Jerusalem and their leaders did not recognize Jesus or understand the words of the prophets that are read every Sabbath, they fulfilled those words by condemning him. Even though they found no cause for a sentence of death, they asked Pilate to have him killed. When they had carried out everything that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead. And for many days he appeared to those who came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. And they are now his witnesses to the people. And we bring you the good news that what God promised our ancestors, he has fulfilled for us, their children, by raising Jesus. As also it is written in the second Psalm, you are my son, today I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. my King on Zion, my holy hill. I will tell of the decree of the Lord. He 
said to me, you are my son. Today I have begotten you. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will make the nations your heritage and the ends of the earth your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. You The Lord be with you. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. During the supper, he said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house, there are many dwelling places. If this were not so, I would have told you that I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God and have faith in me. What a beautiful statement for us. But yet, trust today between people and corporations can be a very expensive venture. 
we hear of personal identification being stolen and misused. We hear of shared bank secret code numbers that are compromised by people who've taken advantage of us. How about trust in a medical profession, especially our doctors, our dentists, and so on? If you have made it a practice, as I have over the many, many years, of visiting a dentist on a regular basis, you develop a certain trust, in my case, unconditional trust in my dentist that I'm not afraid to go to him anymore. We have a beautiful working relationship. In fact, I trust him so much that in my last visit, he said to me that I need a crown. And my first question to him was, how much will it hurt? He laughed and he said, don't you want to know how much it costs? I said, you know, I'm more afraid of the pain than the money. And in his beautiful, assuring way, he said, don't worry about the pain. I will freeze your mouth in such a way you will not feel the pain until I give you the bill. That I can cope with. There's that trust that I have in his capability of doing the best he can for me without causing too much physical pain. Do you trust that you will go to heaven one day? If you place your total unconditional trust in Jesus, you may have a very good chance. And the way to put our trust in him is to celebrate the sacraments he has given to our church. Of all the beautiful seven sacraments that we have, baptism, reconciliation, first communion, confirmation, and so on, one that is so underused, underutilized, is that beautiful sacrament of reconciliation, confession. When was the last time you went to confession? Do you remember when you left the presence of the priest and how free you were, your sins having been totally unconditionally forgiven, and then after receiving that beautiful sacrament to join the community, in receiving the body of Jesus, the bread of life. See, the more we participate in the sacraments of the church, the more we become to know Jesus, especially the Eucharist. Daily Mass, amazing. Not to forget weekend Mass on Sundays. The Daily Mass puts us in that state of mind to live in peace and tranquility, especially in receiving the body of Jesus in the state of grace, and on Sunday to join the bigger community in celebrating our salvation. My dear friends in Christ, unlike the relationship that we have with other human beings, whether it's a doctor, a professional, a banker, whoever it might be, the trust we put in Jesus will never end. He will never hurt. He will never, ever abandon us. The trust we put into Jesus is eternal. And where is eternity? Preferably in heaven. And where is heaven? Jesus tells us that in today's gospel that to know what and where heaven is we should remain in him. We will then have some experience of the glory, the deep healing, the joy, and the fulfillment, which is heaven itself. So, in the words of Jesus, do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God. Have faith 
in me. Yes, faith in Jesus Christ will give you life and joy in eternity. Amen. Please join me as we pray that gathered together in Christ and putting our trust in him, we pray that we may live in Christ, trust him unconditionally, and be reconciled with our neighbor. We pray to the Lord. That those who are burdened by sin may find, may find trust in Christ's mercy in the sacrament of reconciliation, we pray to the Lord. For the sponsors of this televised Mass and all who support this beautiful ministry to you at home, we pray to the Lord. For the Holy Father and all church leaders that they may continue to show us the way to the Father in their personal examples of holiness, we pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, that they may rest in eternal peace, we pray to the Lord. We entrust all of our needs and petitions to the Mother of Jesus as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For Theogonus, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for Theogonus we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Yes, Lord. With humble spirit and contrite heart, and accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is a sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the, pa the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Mm -hmm.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and into, willingly into his passion, he took bread and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and brings to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other a sign of Christ's peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. Would those of you at home join with me now in this prayer for the dying? O God, most kind, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation, whose will it is that no one who believes and hopes in you should perish. With your boundless mercy, look with kindness on your servants, for true faith and Christian hope commend them to you. Come to them in your saving power, and because of the passion and death of your only Son, be pleased to grant them remission and pardon of all their sins, so that their souls, when they leave this life, cleansed of every stain by the blood of your Son, may enter into life everlasting. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Keep safe, our Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go from this Mass in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Bye-bye. Our thanks to the members of St. Francis Xavier Seniors Club, Toronto East, whose generous contributions made the televising of today's Mass possible. The National Catholic Mission 2014, The Gift of Forgiveness, is available on DVD. The total cost for the two programs, $20. Call 1-888-383-6277 between 8.30 and 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time if you'd like to place an order.